Hey everyone, this is Robert with Exploring the Local Life, and today we're going to talk about an electrical problem that we had. A total mystery that was bone simple, and it may help you out if you have the same situation. Let's talk about that. Okay, so about six months ago we were at an RV park and the power went out to the entire park. And during that time, you know, you have to have your battery at the very least. Um, but the situation was Jessica was in the RV, power was out, she called me at work and nothing. No lights, uh, the uh, refrigerator wasn't working, even with propane you want to have some electrical backing it up to run, but zero, zero, nothing. Um, but later on the power came back on the, RV, on the RV park and we were thinking, well, it's working again, so nothing to worry about. We're not going to be boondocking anytime soon, but it's always at the back of our heads. So again, a couple months later, we pos repositioned to another location and no power. So as any good person's going to do, we're going to go through the circuit breakers and we're going to go through the fuses and see if there's something in there. Of course, uh, we found nothing. Um, it was just very much a mystery. Uh, why don't we have any power? Probably have burned something out, the converter's gone bad, or the inverter, I don't know which it is, whatever. Um, so we, again, were like, well, this is probably gonna cost us money. We're not interested in paying money because we don't have the money. So we're just gonna let sleeping dogs lie. So like any normal thing to do, we went ahead and we checked out the circuit breakers and the fuses to see if there's something there. Hey, Jessica. Hi. So this is our fuse panel. And everything's so conveniently uh, labeled. We have our main, we flip that on and off, the AC, the ground fault outlets, the microwave, refrigerator, the converter, or the water heater, you know, flip it back, flip it back on. Did that make any difference? And then we looked at our fuses, which as you can see, are so well labeled in bedroom, living room, squiggle. But we pulled all the fuses out, everything was fine. So again, it remained a complete mystery. Like any good RVer, what did we do? We went on YouTube to try to dis. Um. <coughs> so, like any good RVer, we went on YouTube and tried to find out about electrical issues with your RV. And something that you might not be aware of if you have a travel trailer, and I certainly wasn't aware of, there is a breaker between the battery and the rest of the RV. It's an auto breaker. Now, is that just an auto breaker because it's for automobiles or that it's an automatic breaker? Well, aren't breakers automatic? Well, okay, yeah, anyhow. But this is where you find that thing. So this is our battery box our positive battery cable, our negative battery cable, and then it all leads underneath. So I'm gonna get on down here. I'll get dirty for you guys. And surprise. Whoops, wrong way. Here is the auto breakers. There's two of them. And you have these little black buttons down here that are actually a reset. And I flipped those around and played with those for a little while. And uh, so I played around with those to see if anything would come of it. No difference. But all of a sudden we had power with batteries only. So we figured, oh, must, I must have done that. I must have flipped the, the auto breakers and that must have reset something. Praying to God, who knows what. But then again, you know, another few months went by, we positioned uh, to a new location and then same problem no power whatsoever. And again, looked at all the circuit breakers, flipped flipped circuit breakers, looked at the fuses, looked at the auto breaker, nothing. It was a total mystery until um, I decided, well, let's test the battery. Well, the battery tested fine. So let's take a look at the battery. Okay, we're here at the battery junction. So after checking all the circuit breakers, checking all the fuses, flipping switches back and forth, getting underneath the travel trailer and finding out about the auto breaker, um, I hadn't actually looked at the battery. The one thing that you are on when you're unplugged from ground shore power and you don't have a generator. So I came to look at it. Let's take a look. Whoop. Okay, so nothing special to see here. It's a battery. We have our positive and our negative. We have this nice big post here and this other huge post here. But I guess manufacturers like to save a penny here and there, and instead of connecting the negative and the positive to the big old posts, they connected them to the screw coming out of the battery. 
um, which has its uses if you have uh, accessories and stuff, I guess. But here's the thing, and this was what caused all the problem. This negative battery cable has a hoop ending. I forget what it's called, but anyways, at the end, it's like yay big. However, the post is far skinnier. And there was no sufficient contact between the negative battery cable and the battery post. That was it. That was the source of all of our problem. We were not making proper contact on the negative ground. That gave us worry, that gave us grief. Uh, were we gonna be able to boondock? Were we gonna have to spend $1,000 uh, resolving this issue? What's it gonna be? So hopefully what we've learned here and hopefully you get from us is that if you are getting electrical problems, go through the, you know, the basics, but it might be something as simple as your battery is not properly connected, it is not grounding. That we still have the same idiotic hoop to post connector, we're gonna change that in the future. Um, uh, but that was all. And now our worries are done, we don't have to worry about it, we can go boondocking, we're gonna have electrical power from our battery system. Um, and in the future we hope to do solar and more batteries, but who knows when that will be. Uh, stay tuned, maybe a year from now. Uh, so hopefully this will be a reference for you uh, to go through the ABCs whenever you have an electrical issue. And thanks for watching. Um, feel free to subscribe. Let us know what you think um, and if you experience something similar. Thanks and uh, we'll talk to you soon.